Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about create a Twitter clone with ChatGPT. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we have seen a lot of things with ChatGPT. For example, we saw that how we can create different games, different applications, different websites with ChatGPT. And not only that, we also saw in one of the videos that how we can use ChatGPT for the AI designs that we can use for the web designing. And in that, we talked about Mid Journey and we have talked about many other aspects as well. Now, what we are going to do in this video, well, we'll try to test out our ChatGPT that how good it is in terms of designing something that needs some designing skills and some logical skills as well. So we'll see if ChatGPT is smart enough to help us to create a page for a Twitter website. So first of all, what we need to do, we just need to open our ChatGPT and we have to write our query. Okay, you might be surprised to know that if I write here, please give me a clone website code for Twitter in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, ChatGPT will not give you anything because that requires an extensive knowledge and extensive amount of resources in order to create a clone. So how can you get the exact code or how can you get the help from ChatGPT? But first of all, let's hit enter and let's see how ChatGPT respond to this particular query. As expected, it is not giving us any code. It says, I'm sorry, it is not legal to create a clone of a website. Okay, it is talking about the legal right or you can say copyright perspective. But let's change the query and let's write here. I want the code for learning purposes and I just need the design for the home page of Twitter in HTML CSS and JavaScript and now let's see what do we get as result again it is talking about the copyrighted expect and legal expect okay how can we get rid of this problem and how we can make sure that we get something this time I'll write here okay give me a sample code for the home page of Twitter and let's see what do we get at the end I'll also mention HTML, CSS, JavaScript and hit enter. Okay, here if you see, here it has started to give us some code, but at the moment it is only giving us the code for the sidebar. And in that sidebar, we only have three links as home, about, contacts. Then we have CSS and at the end it is also giving us the JavaScript. But we know that we do not have anything like about and contact on the Twitter on the sidebar. So how can we make sure that we get some sort of help from the Twitter itself? Well, we have to be very smart. First of all, let me clear all the conversation and I'll start a new one. And in that, first of all, what I'll write here, I'll ask the query to give me the basic structure of the HTML page that I can use to create a Twitter clone website page. So this is the query that says, give me the basic structure code that will set up my HTML page for the Twitter clone web page. Okay, from here, I'll remove S and now I'll hit enter. Let's see what do we get here. It has started to develop the code in which we have its language char set. Then we have the title. We have style sheet that is styles.css and we have some other information in here. So first of all, let's copy this code and let's use this one into our document. Okay. For the coding purpose, I'll be using visual studio code. So let me open that as well. Here it is and the name of the file is index.html. So first of all, I'll just paste the code in here. I'll just save this one. And what we need, we need to have its CSS. So I'll go back. I'll simply write here. Now give me the CSS for it as well. Let's hit enter. And here we have the CSS code. So I'll just copy this one. I'll open my style.css file and I'll paste the code in here. Let's save this one and let's go back and let's run this one. And let's see how does it look like. Well, at the moment, we do not have anything in here as we only have the structure. Okay, what do we want to have next? Well, after having the basic structure, let's have the sidebar for our Twitter clone web page. For that, I'll go back to my 
chat gpt and this time i'll write here now give me the code for the sidebar and let's hit enter and here it has started to generate the code for our sidebar let it get complete and i'll just copy this code and i'll paste it into my visual studio code we are done here so i'll just copy this one and i'll paste that down here and here it is and here if you see we have different options like home we have search notification none mail outline bookmark border list alt and something like that now i'll just save this one and now we need to have the code for its css let's go back and i'll simply write here now give me the code for its css let's hit enter and let's wait for the code to get complete and then i'll just copy it and paste it into my visual studio code here it is generating the code for different ids and different classes let's wait for it we are done here and now i'll simply copy this one i'll go to my style.css file i'll paste it down here i'll just save this one and now let's run this one once again so i'll just click on run and i'll click on run without debugging and this is how it looks like now and here we have our sidebar and this is exactly like the twitter we have home explore notification messages bookmarks and something like that so we are done with the sidebar and now what we need to have we need to have the tweet feed so for that purpose let's go back to our chat gpt this time i'll write here give me the code for the feed in which i want to have tweet box and posts and let's hit enter and let's see what do we get this time here it says here is some sample code for the feed section in html where you can have tweet box and post so first of all it has started with the feed and here it has used the css class as feed after that it has started to work on tweet box and the class is tweet box then it has used some divs we have some images and for the images we need to have some images available in our visual studio code as well i'll talk to you about it in detail later then we have a placeholder that says what's happening and if you use twitter you might know that by default we see what's happening in the tweet box we are done here with the tweet box now it has started to work on post starts and here it is working on it and down here we have some default text we can change it as well as per our liking let it get complete and then again we'll simply copy this one and then we'll paste it again into our index.html file i think we are almost done in here now let's go above and let's copy this code i'll just copy this one I'll go to my index.html and I'll paste it down here. We are done here. Let's have its CSS. So let's ask our chat GPT for that. So I'll write here. Now give me the CSS code for that HTML or this HTML or the HTML that you have provided earlier. So I'll just hit enter because chat GPT knows what it needs to do or what we want to ask it. So down here it has started to give us the CSS styling for the code that we got for our feed. So let it get complete and then we'll simply copy this one and again we'll paste it. We are done here with the code of CSS so let's copy this one. Let's go back and let's paste it down here. Let's save this one and now let's go back to our index.html and let's rerun it again. But before that as I have mentioned earlier that we need to have some pictures for our images for the users and for the post and this is my folder with the name of images and in this folder i have the pictures as ball and profile.png profile.png will get used for the users and ball.png i'll be using for the post here i have profile.png and down here it says post image.jpg so i can change it as well so i'll simply replace it with ball.png so I'll write here PNG and I'll just save this one and now we are good to go. So I'll do the same in whole of this code and then I'll get back to you. I'm done with the changes and now I'll simply click on this run button and I'll click on this run without debugging. And this is how my Twitter website looks like now. This is the image for the users or the profiles and this is the image that I have used for the post. And if you remember I told you that this is the text by default that comes from the chat GPT and this is the same in here you can change it as well you can write anything in here and you are good to go now if you see we are done with the posting area we are done with the tweet button we are done here with different options but different menus on the sidebar now if you remember on twitter we also have a widget in here let's ask our chat gpt 
to provide us with that widget as well. So I'll go back to my chat GPT and this time I'll write here, give me the code for the widget that we see on Twitter and give me the HTML code first. And let's see what do we get here. It has given us the code and I'll simply copy that and I'm not satisfied with this one. So I'll tweak it as per my liking a little bit. So I'll simply copy this code from here and I have pasted it in here. Let me tweak it as per the liking and then I'll get back to you. Here I have added some of the things like I have a placeholder or you can say a message that says what's happening. Then I have date and I have used some other thing here as well. At the top I have used a search bar that says search Twitter. So now I'll just save this code and I'll click on run. But before that we also need to have its CSS code. So let's get back to our chat GPT. But if you remember now this time the chat GPT will give us the CSS code for the HTML code that it provided to us. But we need to have CSS code for this section of the code that I have tweaked. How can we get that? Well, I'll simply copy this one from here. I'll go back to my chat GPT. Here it is. First of all, I'll write here. I have the following code in HTML. I'll simply paste my code in here and down here. I'll write, give me its CSS code. Let's see what do we get. So now what chat GPT will do, chat GPT will give us the CSS code as per this code that I have provided in HTML. Now the reference point for chat GPT is this particular code. So now we'll be having the right code that we wanted in order to design or style our web page for Twitter. And if you see here, now we have the IDs and classes as widgets, widgets underscore input. Then we have widgets underscore search icon. So basically all of this styling is related to widget as the name suggests here as well. So let it get complete. And then again, we'll simply copy this one. We'll paste it into our style.css file. And then we'll see how does our Twitter clone look like at the end. It is done with generating the code. And now we just need to copy this one once again. And I'll paste it down here and let's save this one. Click on index.html. Let's click on run and let's click on this option. And this is how it looks like now. In this side, we have our search bar. This is our widgets in which we have what's happening. And then we have our date. Not only that, you can also embed some of the Twitter accounts in here for the productivity or you can say for the better interface of your clone Twitter. And in the middle, we have different posts. We have a user and this is some default name. You can change it as well. This is the account and in here you can write any tweet as per your liking and you are good to go. So basically what we wanted to see, we wanted to see if chat GPT is smart enough or capable enough to help us with the code that we can use to create a clone for the Twitter homepage. So this was the basic example. You can also ask your chat GPT to provide you with the code with your login page of your Twitter. But obviously, once again, you have to be smart in terms of using your chat GPT. If you ask your chat GPT directly for the code, it will not give you anything. Just like we have seen in this video, as it says, it is illegal to have something that is cloned. Or in your case, it might say that it requires to have extensive resources and a lot of time to create something like Twitter. So be patient and be smart and be creative in order to use chat GPT. So that was all about this particular video. I hope now that now you must have liked and loved watching this one and you must have learned a new thing that how you can use your chat GPT for creating your Twitter clone. And if that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. If you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.